Yes, and hi guys, and uh, welcome to RG Handhelds once again. Uh, today we got um, a pretty cool device uh, from Peroni, um, the guys who actually make this device right here. Um, it's an open source handheld, a uh, great bit of kit, uh, and I was really excited to get this. Uh, I, I bought this myself, um, ordered a couple of days ago and just got it yesterday. It's the 32 Blit Game Dev Kit, and that's the device there. Uh, they initially, I believe they did go on Kickstarter uh, with the initial release of this device. Um, it had a different case, uh, a not so good case. Uh, so I know they've just developed this new case, which the newer devices are coming with this new case and the colored buttons. Um, so we're gonna do an unbox of this. Uh, just wanna say a huge thanks to Peroni for uh, getting this out to me so quickly. Uh, so that's all pretty good. I just wanna show you, uh, this is Peroni's other device here, which I really love. Um, the Pico system, absolutely amazing system. Uh, it's still in development, but you know, good things are coming to this device. Uh, I mean, just take a look. We got uh, Celesti for the, the real Pico game. Um, you can't get better than that. Anyway, let's not play that. That's a different entire video on another occasion I can do. So this is the 32 Blit. We're gonna talk about specs quickly, just so you guys know what we uh, do have inside the system. Uh, it's an STM. 32H750VB Cortex M7 processor in the system. Uh, I believe it's running at around 480 megahertz. Uh, it has one megabyte of SRAM uh, and that's hardware floating point uh, RAM. Uh, the data sheet uh, states it's got 32 meg of flash RAM uh, that's via the QSPI interface, which supports XIP uh, for them developers out there. Execute in place. Uh, the screen is 3.5 inch. Uh, that's a 320 by 240 16 bit IPS TFT display. So guys, not a bad little screen for this uh, device. Uh, the micro SD card slot is also there. Um, I believe you can store games on the micro SD card uh, so, so they can actually uh, be transferred into the flash memory uh, on the go, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, you have a 0 0.5 watt speaker uh, with mono audio uh, and a power amplifier, so the sound shouldn't be too bad. Uh, you have an analog joystick, um, a D-pad, four action buttons and two system buttons. Uh, it's got a LIS3D HTR triaxle accelerometer. Uh, so that's handy. Uh, micro, micro B USB port uh, for programming and charging, I believe. Uh, a 1200 milliamp rechargeable battery, probably good for about four plus hours of play. Um, uh, and the programming language 32 blit CNC++ SDK, which you can download. Uh, I know there's a, a dev community. They do have their own Discord. I will link that Discord in the link of the video so you guys can go and check it out and see all the cool development going on. So let's just take a look at the box. I have broke the seal here, guys. Not opened it yet, but I have broke the seal. Nice, nice little box, quite liking it. It looks pretty uh, eco-friendly type box uh, for recycling and just straightforward. Maybe that's 491 uh, devices, uh, device that I've got, who knows. Uh, pretty straightforward box. Uh, like I say, so let's get this open. Today it's just going to be unboxing guys, but I will do another string of videos uh, actually showing uh, some gameplay on the device. Um, 
So what do we have? We have, that's just my invoice that I've got in the package. You don't want to see that. Um, welcome note from uh, Peroni. Uh, you can see there. Um, just explaining what it is to say thanks and so on. Uh, some cool stuff going on there telling you who's admin on the team. Uh, you can see there. Uh, and on the back, <coughs> excuse me, uh, on the back you have um, just a straightforward picture of the device. <coughs> and just tells you uh, what to expect. DFU mode, uh, telling you about product faults and quality support. So, pretty good read. <coughs> Let's carry on and see what we have in the box here. So, oh, that's pretty cool. They give you some stickers uh, out the box. I'm sure I've seen this in AR Neo as well. They give you something like this. Uh, how do Ken? Um, cool little sticker. Uh, we got this as well in the box. So you get, at least they give you something, you know, in the box. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, the device itself, but um, this seems to be some sort of Velcro strap, I believe. Yep, pretty handy, might come in handy. Uh, that's the device, let's just put that on the side for now. See what else is here. Okay, so we just have the cable. Let's put that back in there. So pretty eco-friendly, uh, Packaging, I like that. Great idea. Um, the usual micro USB to USB cable right there. Uh, so let's just pop all that merchandise back in there. Get it out of the way. And just take a look at the device. There you go. So looking at it, um, we've gone through the specs already uh, at the beginning of the video. Uh, I just want to mention this is their newer case that they've uh, designed. Uh, much better quality than the initial Kickstarter uh, case that was available uh, on the point of uh, the Kickstarter starting, um, which was a while ago now. I'm not too sure on the date, but it has been a while. But uh, let's go outside the device and see what you have so you can see you got some uh that look like propriety uh key holes um so not your standard screws to put the device together uh your micro usb i believe that's a reset button i'm not 100 percent but i'm sure that's a reset button there uh that's your micro sd card slot there guys so you want to store the additional games, uh, nothing down there, nothing down the bottom, nothing down this side, and then front of the device, let's see if we can power it on. There you go. Uh, so yeah, quite nice. Uh, I do like the build quality, I have to say, and it feels quite nice in the hand. Uh, the buttons feel good. I like the color, snazzy color buttons there. Uh, which looks pretty cool. Um, let's see what we're doing in the menu here. Okay. Um, so yeah, you got the analog button there, which uh, looks pretty cool. Similar to a Nintendo Switch style button. Uh, your nice colored buttons there. Um, say we've been on the top of the device so I think the battery has just run out which is a shame um, yeah looks like the battery has gone let's see if we can reset it here maybe oh there we have we got power again uh, so yeah just going through uh, a quick uh, review of what you get out the box, so you're getting audio test, I presume to test the audio. 
uh, audio wave uh, babble uh, Boeing doom fire fizzle geometry uh, you got this wood woodware test jpeg logo palette cycle palette swap particle uh, the list goes on there's quite a, a few programs you can try just to show you what the actual device does but i say there's a lot more that you can download which i will link into the video um you know and let's just try one of these see what it actually is oh tilt so i can see that's using the accelerometer which is accelerometer which is pretty cool it just shows you what can be done um, that's quite a cool little test uh, pressing that button lets you change certain settings uh, backlight you can turn it down turn it up your volume oh take a screenshot with a uh, they're not actually marked so I'm not sure which is a but I presume that one would be a uh, DFU mode power off or exit game so we want to exit game there you go uh, I'm pretty intrigued to try that I know the actual doom game is out for this uh, it's not actually on here but there is this called doom fire oh that's pretty cool I do like that so that's from the actual game you all know that screen guys uh, the famous doom fire logo so it's pretty straightforward press the button and exit i'm quite liking this device already uh, this seems to bring up a uh, root which i believe is the root of your micro sd card but we don't have one in here and this is loaded to your uh, i believe your flash memory which i believe is 32 meg uh, which are all these releases and i presume you can delete these uh, and maybe uh, install your own uh, titles uh, as you please um, just checking out this other release so the keys feel quite nice they got that click to it uh, like the pico uh, station um, clickiness of the, the d-pad uh, the keys these keys feel good um, so do these not too bad and it does let you use the analog stick which is pretty cool as well so that's uh, pretty neat and the screen i have to say i'm pretty impressed with that screen as well it does stand up uh, to uh, what they were saying it was uh, so exit came there you go uh, anything else we can check out palette cycle logo Geometry, Doom, Bullets, Garble. So quite a few releases there, guys. Um, tunnel, that's one more. Not too sure what, I think it's just a demo. Uh, just showing a uh, ship going through a tunnel pretty cool just showing you basically what the device can do and what is capable of the device but not a bad little device guys i think i'm gonna like this uh, uh this sort of device is more aimed out for developers uh, i would say don't expect um ambronic style emulators uh to play game um uh, game boy advance or you know anything playstation this is not that device i would look elsewhere this is more for old school uh games you know older like manic miner and so on which this device is also the same 
um, and it's more aimed at developers, uh, you know, but looking at the releases I've seen so far, and there are quite a lot of releases, I will pin that uh, uh, release channel in the uh, video so you guys can check out what releases are available. And they have a really cool uh, active Discord. Uh, so I'll link that as well. We also support this device in our uh, Discord RG handhelds. Uh, I'll also link that as well. But from what I've seen so far, very impressive little device. Um, this is more aimed at those people who like hacking and programming uh, and maybe the older release uh, games. Um, you know, I can see uh, a Pico Pico system emulator may be doable on this device, most definitely, uh, which you might see soon. But um, like I say, the software release catalog for these both devices are really getting up there. I mean, we're already seeing cool uh, systems already on the Pico system. Um, we're seeing proper Pico games uh, already being released, as you can see here. Um, so I'm going to leave you guys uh, with this, uh, uh, with these two devices. This is the 32 Blit system. This is the Pico system, uh, both uh, made by Peroni themselves. Uh, two very cool devices. I highly recommend them. Uh, not for everyone. I must state that not for everyone. If you're into, like what I say, hacking old school games, a uh, bit of development, uh, want to dabble yourself in a bit of uh, programming, then look no further. These two guys is what you want. So guys, let me know. Let me know in the video what you think about these devices. Do you have any of these? Uh, let me know what you think of them uh, in the description of the video. But guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you like the video. And I'll catch you soon. Peace out.